What's up you guys are watching Surgery Secret before I get started with today's video if you can please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button I'm posting a video every single day for vlogmas so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any one of my uploads today I have a haul so I've been talking about a lot of the purchases that I've been making so I did one for handbags that I recently purchased which I'll leave that video linked down below and I also did one for Nordstrom Rack where I did purchase a lot of goodies which I'll also leave that video linked down below but other than that, these are kind of all the other kind of things that I purchased. It's not a whole, whole lot, but it is enough to me kind of talk about. And I also have a giveaway for you guys. So, but yes, guys, I am doing a giveaway. I would, I always love to give back every couple of months. So I think our first giveaway was a Givenchy sunglass and a Givenchy scarf. Our second giveaway was a Coach Cassie bag and it was two Coach charms and then a Kate Spade wallet. And then this giveaway that we're going to be doing is going to be the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. I believe this is not even on the website still, but I got my hands on one. So you guys know how much I love my regular The Tote Bag. So I decided to get it in the mini version, but not for me, for one of you guys. And as you can see, it's that preciosa. I decided to get black because I think black goes with everything. It's still attached on it. It has a strap on the inside that I haven't even taken out. So I'm doing a giveaway for this beautiful mini, the tote bag. I think this is such an adorable size. I think I'll have to purchase one of these salt ones for myself. But you guys know, I always love to give back to you guys. And, you know, it may not be as much as much, but at the end of the day, I do appreciate each and every single one of you. So I will be doing a giveaway for this Marc Jacobs little tote bag. And then I also will be giving away a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. So I actually have them right here. I don't really want to take them out, but they're um, here. I'll sh I bought one for myself, so we'll be actually twins. Winning one of these, but I'll show you mines. So basically, they are the classic Ray-Bans in 62 uh, size. So they come in three sizes, and this is the largest one. And these, like I said, the classic, you can never go wrong with Ray-Ban Aviator. Size 62, a little bit of an oversized fit, and they have polarization as well. So they're not the regular Ray-Bans, they have a polarization. So a classic timeless that will never go out of style pair of Ray-Bans like these ones right here and also the tote bag by Marc Jacobs you have a little bit of classiness you have something that's very a classic silhouette but something that's a little bit more current so you have a little bit of a nice in between so I think that this is a phenomenal giveaway for one of you guys so um, by the time I post this video I will have this already in my Instagram so on my Instagram all you have to do is like the picture you have to tag two people you have to follow me on Instagram and on YouTube and you are automatically entered and the giveaway will end to participate it's a really nice and simple giveaway and this giveaway will be US and Canada I know I haven't done Canada before but this time I am opening it up to Canada and very very near future I will be open to doing international giveaways but right now I'm doing US and Canada so like I said I'll leave all the rules and everything down below and I'll leave my Instagram down below but I always love to give back to you guys and this is like a little bit of a nice Christmas gift so a nice Ray-Ban Aviator the Marc Jacobs of tote bag you can never go wrong with it so I'm super excited to do this giveaway for you guys. The way guys, I want to do a little bit of a haul. I want to talk a little bit. So I have a couple of pieces of clothing. I have a new fragrance. I have Bath & Body Works candle day to talk about. So we'll talk about the fragrance because this is what I'm most excited for. So the fragrance that I purchased is Vireto. I've always wanted kind of like a nice fragrance. Well, I've already have nice fragrances, on Ford fragrances, like Victor and Roth fragrances, but I wanted something that a little bit more novelty. I always thought about this brand. They opened a store here at North Park here in Dallas, so Rito fragrance, and the one that I got was Black Saffron, and it is the Other Parfum, and this one is the in the 100 ml. Like I said, I normally don't like to buy like a lot of fragrances, like I'm very picky. On fragrances and I'm also know that once I buy a fragrance I'm basically stuck with it until I finish it so um, I don't have like a huge fragrance collected fragrance video like six months ago which I'll leave linked down below and even in that video I don't even I personally feel like I don't have like a lot of fragrances and I just like to always reach for those kind of classic scents and so I was smelling a couple fragrances I was very in between between this one right here and people of tech and the reason why I decided to go for this one is just because it has a very dark scent, but it's also a very dark, kind of like more of like a scent. Like it's super dark, it's super intense, but it has kind of like a little bit of a feminine twist to it. And that's what I gravitated towards this perfume. 
I am in love with the packaging. I love everything, but at the end of the day, I, you know, the packaging could be nice, but I want the item to perform. So I sprayed it at Neiman Marcus. I sprayed it on my wrist. I put it on my neck. And, and like eight hours later, I could still smell it. So I knew that it was gonna work well with my body chemistry. So I purchased it. I'm super excited to have this fragrance. I love the packaging on it. So you open it up. I was like kind of confused about how to open it, but you op it has like a little stickers on the side. The fragrance is just right here. And you have like a little pamphlet, but I love the fragrance. I like the packaging, but I think this will be a really great staple. And I see myself using this non-stop i'm gonna spray it today i'm gonna spray it tomorrow i'm gonna probably gonna spray it in three months from now so i'll keep you guys posted on about how i feel about this fragrance but i also purchased a candle in bibla tech because i didn't want to buy two fragrances so i bought the candle in bibla tech so hopefully i like it i should be getting that in very very soon and i also ordered the suede hand wash so i hope that one will be really great i've heard great things about it so i should be getting those in probably today or tomorrow but i already got my fragrance in so i decided why not mention it but i'm excited for this byredo fragrance that i purchased guys is going to be deodorant so you guys know how much i love these deodorant i've talked about it so much so they went on sale at nordstrom for 40 percent off and i had a feeling that it was going to get discontinued so I, I purchased eight deodorant sticks i purchased eight of the yso deodorant sticks and it came in the classic bag so basically is the la home deodorant stick but what i like is that it's alcohol free and it doesn't irritate so i do shave a lot and so i know it's kind of tmi so i just like this one because it doesn't irritate i like the scent it actually smells and actually okay it's a really nice deodorant stick i, I think in a couple hauls ago i was saying that i was trying the aqua de geo i like the aqua de geo but i feel like i like my la home I like my classic La Home. I feel like you can never go wrong with this one. Super excited. Now I have eight of them. I got my dad hooked on this. I got my brother hooked on this. And now I have eight of them. So if it does get discontinued, I think I'll have a pretty decent supply. And I think a deodorant stick lasts me around six to eight months. It honestly depends. But then I also have like a couple of them laying around the house. So um, I love the La Home. I highly recommend them if you want a nice deodorant stick. This is the one that I use and this is the one that I love. I've tried different ones. I tried the Capri. I tried the Aqua Legio. They're nice. They're pretty decent, but there's nothing like my La Home fragrance. The thing that I'm going to be showing you is this handbag. So I don't know if you guys know, but I did a day in my life video which i'll leave linked down below as well and i also talked about how i have a rent the runway membership and i didn't really know that they had like a lot of handbags and so like this blazer is part of my rent the runway membership and the reason why i got it because i did get asked like a little bit more on why the reasoning is is just because i like to try a lot of different styles and different cuts and just different materials before i commit to buying something that's from you know from neiman marcus from nordstrom from blooming dolls that are full price so or even like slightly discounted like i want to make sure that i like the material that i like certain fits so i like that i get to experiment with a lot of different types of looks and things and then i can reference it in what i like and what i don't like but this is what i got part of my rent the runway membership so this is the tori birch lee raswell i did a tori birch video i talked about how I wanted to add a Lee Razzle in my collection. I saw this pop up in my recommended. I'm like, rent the runway, do you watch my videos? They probably don't, but I saw this one pop up and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rent this one. I think I'm gonna have this one for like 10 days. I'm gonna see how I like it. I'm gonna see how I feel about it. And I'm just, I'm happy with it. So it has a strap right here. And the Lee Razzle, like I said, is the most elevated line for Tory Burch. And then you could also take off these straps on this which I feel like I will. I think it, in my personal opinion, I prefer the Lee without straps. I think it looks a lot more clean and it's in this croc effect. It has the buckles here. You can open these up. You just pop them right out and you have them nice and open. It has feet at the bottom. It has a little plushette here. It has the little rings right here. We can um, attach the strap at. I don't really know why they were here on the sides, but I believe the strap is meant to be on the back. You open it up and you have a you have a front pocket and this is smooth leather and then on the inside you have these three button snap closure on a kind of toy birch kind of aligning that they have you have a main zip one you also have another pocket so i'm super excited i probably will be using this handbag today if not tomorrow 
Like I said, I've always wanted to play with a Lee Roswell before I commit to purchasing one just because they're so pricey. And even if like certain styles go on sale, but even then they're still really pricey. So I'm excited to have this in my collection. I'm excited to play with it, to see how I like it, and to see if I do really want to invest in purchasing a Lee Roswell handbag in my collection because they are they are a pretty penny. So I'm excited to try this one out. A ver como esta. A ver, let's see what the hype is about all this Lee. I do like this croc. I like the texture. The texture with the gold. I think it's very, very fun. So we shall see how I feel about this. But yes, guys, I did get this Lee Roswell part of my Rent the Runway membership. So I'm excited to see how I like it. Now, let's talk about Candle Day. So Candle Day was on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I believe they did it three days. So it deters people from not going on the first day and, you know, practice social distancing and all that good stuff. Having an appointment at North Park just a little quick appointment for something and then so i went in um i did my appointment and then i went to walk around to get a cup of coffee and then i saw the line out about the body works and i was like mm, i kind of don't want to wait the line in this line and then me and cassie ended up spending the afternoon together at Laria, to purchase something that we needed and then so we had saw the line about the body works and there was a no line so we actually went inside it was so chaotic there were so many people I just literally picked out 10 candles and I was like, you know what, 10 candles it is. Or I think I picked out 12 candles. I picked out 12 candles and I said, I'll come back and exchange them later because I really can't do this. So I picked out my 12 candles in like less than three minutes, picked them all up and checked out and then left. You don't even know the sense that I purchased. So I have them right here. is the one that I'm burning currently. So um, I kind of like half of, the, half of the candles, but the reason why I buy the candles is because as much as I like like bougie candles, like tom ford candles and dip tea candles and joe malone candles they're just honestly so expensive and they're so hard to justify and the bath and body works smell really good like even if i um burn a candle for three hours and then i'm gone for the day when i come back i can still smell the scent versus some of the other smaller candles especially if they have one wick um you don't really have that after scent so i do think that the bath and body works candles are probably the best in my opinion and i think ten dollars is a really really small price for them and I do really, really, really like them. Next thing that I purchased, guys, which I talked about in my day, my life, are these Tom Ford glasses. The Tom Ford glasses, and they're polarized. And let me tell you, I've been a fan of a lot of different glasses this year, but I will say that these are probably my favorite one. I've always wanted a circle one, but I feel like I've always had a big head for them. And I have some uh, Ray-Ban circle ones, but I feel like even then, like those are a little bit, they fit fine, but I like the list light oversize in these ones here. I like how they're polarized. I like the way they fit my face. I think they look pretty decent on me. So I decided to purchase them, to wear them. And I've been wearing them and I have not been letting go of these glasses since I purchased them. I think they've been a phenomenal purchase and I've been really, really into them. So these Tom Ford Jamesons, I am obsessed with. I have a couple of clothing pieces. Um, I do have one fast fashion piece and it's from H&M. Um, as far as my rules for fast fashion is I have to make sure that I like the item and that would get a lot of wear. So a lot of you guys know, I don't go into like Zara or H&M or whatever these places are and then just pick out like a full outfit or just a bunch of stuff like out of the get-go. I really like to thoroughly think a lot about my purchases or if something comes on sale, I check like a little bit of a list to see if it's on there and if it's on there and, it, and I like it, I will purchase it. But I don't go in and just buy a bunch of clothes at one time. That's not me. I like to savor and have something for the moment and really appreciate it. It's something that I really like. I'll show you. So I talked about this blazer. Um, this is the Anina Bing Kaya blazer. Anina Bing is one of my favorite designers. This year is what is the year that I started adding items from her collection. And I'm just 100% obsessed with Anina Bing. I like her style. I like everything about this blazer. So I already have it in the camel color which is right over here and then i have another anina bean blaze that like in march and i like it a lot but i feel like i already had like a lot of black blazers that kind of look like that and there was nothing that kind of made it pop out it's a really great blazer if you don't have any but i have a bunch of other black blazers in my collection but the reason why i gravitated towards this one is this one was um on sale for 60 percent off so it ended up being 140 and then it had an additional 25% off. How much I love the sandy one, so that's why I went for it. So this is black, but what I like is that it has a nice structure to it. The other blazer that I had from Anina Bing had a little bit of a nice slouch to it. And I like how structuredness and I like the buttons that kind of have a nice contrast. So 
I have been reaching for this Anina Bean blazer quite a lot. I sold my other black blazer to one of my friends because I know she's been looking for a black blazer. So I have this one. I've been really enjoying it and I will be wearing this um, for a long time. I think I prefer this one a lot more than the original one that I bought. Even though I do like it, I would keep it. But I already have a lot of things very, very similar to that. I have about like, I think I have like six or seven black blazers. But they're all like a little bit different. But... Um, that Anina Bean was very similar to like a few that I already had. This one is another black blazer, but this is a leather black blazer. I talked about this in my day in my life, but I kind of wanted to talk about it again because I still get asked about it. So I actually wore this yesterday. I've worn it a couple times. This is the Theory Faux Leather Blazer. You guys know I have a faux leather um, kind of jacket. I saw them at Zara. I just didn't really care for the quality of them. And then I saw this Theory one go on sale for 60% off. This one was part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but it, um, I just kept it in my wish list and I saw it that I went to 60. I went in store and I purchased it. I love this. This is in a size 12. Um, theory just runs very, very small. Their theory just fits all over the place. Could have went for a size 10 if I wanted more of that fitted look, but I kind of wanted that oversized where I can just wear a t-shirt, some denim, and this jacket and I'm good to go. I like the details in the back. I like all the stitching contrast. This material has been holding up really well for the few times that I have been wearing them. And yeah, this is the classic black leather blazer. I love it. It's been going really well with my style, so I'm super happy. And I think I've worn it on one of my uh, sit-down videos. So I do like this theory blazer. Next item is going to be a Target find. So I was at Target just kind of purchasing things that I needed around the house. And I saw this one on the mannequin. I tried it on. I was already looking at something like this from Tote Me. I saw this one. I just... I loved it I really liked it and like I said I don't really buy like a lot of fast fashion pieces but I I think Target has been having really great clothing because then I actually started walking a lot more and I've been falling in love with a lot of the things that they have so I may go to Target just to see if there's anything that kind of pops out at me there was a lot of things that I liked but um, I just wanted to make sure whatever I picked I would get a lot, a lot of wear out of so it is a black quilted coat it is absolutely beautiful. It looks a little bit navy, but it is black. I got mine in a size medium, and this one was $60. You see that tote me look, and that tote me jacket is about six or $700. This one's really good quality. I like the lining of it, but the reason why I got a medium instead of a small, because it was running a little big, is I like that I can layer sweaters with this, so I feel like it looks more dressed up, and it looks a little bit more like put together, especially if you want to layer sweaters, because one of my pet peeves is when like um, sweaters bunch up on a jacket i like it when it looks a lot more seamless so um i do tend to go over a, a size bigger if i do want a coat to oversize with sweaters so i got this jacket i am really obsessed with a phenomenal find and you'll see me wear this throughout the rest of vlogmas which is from h m and it is a jacket so this jacket right here i've been seeing like a lot of people have it i've been really wanting like an is Morant one i've been stocking like poshmark i've been stocking certain websites if there's one with the, like even like 30 or 40 percent off i'll purchase it but i don't want to pay full price for it so i saw this one i liked it this is in a 2xl i was with Haley for black friday we had did all the north Max, and then in the arlington rack we were like let's go to h&m real quick it was a little busy but i found this it was 30 percent off and then i had a five dollar off so i ended up getting it for about like 25 dollars but i have been wearing it i think i've worn it already like four or five times um, my mom likes this so she'll probably steal this from me and so i like it like i said i like to be very edited in the things that i purchased but i do think this is really something that i'll be wearing and i know that i feel like a jacket will still be popular next year just because i feel like this year is the moment that i had the most popularity so i feel like it's going to be carrying on to the next couple of years so i think this is a really great one i paid 25 bucks for it i like it but i see myself having this for a while so that's why i justified this jacket purchase last piece which is going to be a piece from the row so you guys know how much i love the row or i love the aesthetic of the row like i said my style has definitely changed like even if you watch videos from like even eight months ago i feel like my mindset and everything was just kind of all over the place and so i feel like just my style in general has just completely changed and the brands and the things that i look for items have just changed a lot you know i don't really go for the big logos anymore you know i may do it like in a handbag or an accessory but in a lot of my clothes, I, you know, I'll do a logo, I'll do like a, a, a print, but I don't do it every single day. And I'm very picky on doing for prints or branding and stuff like that on my clothing. So Rose, a brand that I like a lot, it's very expensive, super, super expensive. But I saw, I saw this at last call 
and this would be just for $390. It shows more white in the camera, but it's a little bit more of a cream, and it was there for about, I want to say like $90. And so I ended up purchasing it, and I literally wear this like three times a week. So it is this, so it has the row. It is this kind of white little turtleneck. Not necessarily like a turtleneck, but just has a little bit of a higher neck. And it is in this kind of rib detail, but this rib detail is very nice, very beautiful, phenomenal. This one's in a size large. Like I said, it retails for $390, but even if this didn't have an additional discount, I lost call because I believe... It had 40% off when I purchased it. If this was still like to 150, I still probably would have purchased it. I think that this is such a high quality material item. This will be something that I'll be reaching for for the next couple of years. I've been really careful with it and I just love this piece from the row. You guys have been seeing me wear this on my Instagram throughout outfits. So I expect myself to make more row purchases. I'm not really sure what I want next. I probably want like more basic items from the row. And I'm also probably looking for a row sweater soon or try them on soon so I can ask somebody in person. But this is my first piece from the row. I'm a, I love that I picked a very simple minimalistic item. And I cannot wait to purchase more items from the row. This is a beautiful piece and I'm, I'm super happy with it. So yeah guys, that's going to be a little bit of my haul. I talked about a little bit of everything. We did candle day. We did a little bit of clothing. We did the giveaway. So I'll leave my Instagram down below to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, like the photo, tag two people, and you'll automatically enter it. And I'll pick the winner on December 16th, but December 15th is when it's going to be closing. So yeah, thank you, thank you so much. I like to do things for you here and there because I appreciate each and every single one of you that click my videos, that watch my videos, that support me. I just love each and every single one of you and I like to give back. So um, just thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Y los miro on mañana's video. Bye guys, thank you so much and I'll see you guys on Vlogmas on day and I'll make sure to also leave the links for everything down below.